because uh, as time goes on, like people sometimes feel that expressing shit or that going through a certain situation ends up feeling like, oh, I'm an idiot or I shouldn't be feeling this way or I shouldn't be doing this or this shouldn't have happened to begin with, probably. But that, again, like, first of all, like I don't think that self-deprecating helps anything, but I do... Yeah, it really does. Like, I it do, doesn't. I do feel that there is an argument to be had on that whole element. Uh, what do you guys think? Like, I just want to start with you with the initial thoughts on that regard. <laughs> about venting? Yeah, like, uh, like uh, have you guys vented about, like, about something? Or uh, have you guys feel that venting was wrong in a particular situation or whatever? <laughs> to an extent, like, I feel like it does more good than bad. I'll definitely say that. The hardest part is actually uh, coming out in, in general. Like, that's something that I've noticed. Like, it's really hard to, like, get the, uh, like get what you're feeling or thinking out there because I'll be afraid, or at least I am. I'm usually afraid of, like, what the person will think of me. Like, I'll just say, oh, look at Anthony. He's just being a fucking pussy. But, um, but most of the time, like, no, I really do think that it is very good for you if you do uh, if you do decide to like vent. Now, thing on the person, that's entirely a different story. Like I, I, I would still say no, just straight up, um, only vent to someone when that you consider close, like very close. Like, don't just do, uh, like don't just talk to someone that you barely know only to get a response like, oh, I'm sorry, you feel that way. Because I said it before, and I'll say it fucking again. Saying sorry you're feeling this way isn't gonna make me fucking feel better. But I at least want something to be said, you know? Yeah. Go on. And and that's. Uh, oh, sorry, yeah, go sorry, on. go on. No, 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 no. Go ahead, John. No, I think Anthony pretty much summed up my thoughts about venting. Like honestly, venting is a good form of getting your frustrations out but you just need to you just need to be able to vent in an area where you know like you're going to get feedback in some regard where it's either going to help you or it's never going to leave like that's my that's my big thing it's just like if you choose to vent vent to somebody you know that will listen and will offer you advice and try and help alleviate the situation and make you feel better about certain things I'm sorry to interrupt you, but a, like I'm getting like, oh wait no no, the stream just started again. For some reason, I just got like a major major like uh, spike where the stream like just stopped, like, but it, it seems to be picking itself back up now. It's it's getting back to where it was. All right, again I'm gonna have to like, it's a good thing I'm archiving all those things, so at least on YouTube <laughs> it can like it can be seen properly. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Anyway, continue, John. That's, that's about it, to be perfectly honest. Just, venting will do you some good. Just be in an area where you know that you can vent your frustrations to someone or something. Right. You guys keep talking, and... I'll be right back. Alright. Right. Fuck. What was I saying? Like, uh, like, just make sure to vent in an area that you feel comfortable with. Correct. Like, something or someone. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like obviously, don't be online. No, because obviously you're you're gonna you're gonna upset somebody. That's a, that's a guarantee that you will upset somebody. Don't ever fucking vent on Twitter. No, you're just asking you're just asking to make the shit worse for you. Exactly. Not only for you, but for the person or person that have angered you in some form or another. Yeah, I, I was listening. Don't worry. <laughs> um. Like, but like like for me like uh when it comes to like just like any kind of emotional uh release per se <laughs> uh i've always been on the on the fence of, like okay what are we defining as venting are we gonna start like just talking smack about something or are we gonna go somewhere with the conversation like it really does depend on exactly like what are you gonna do 
throughout this uh, situation like uh, do you want to talk your thoughts out do you want to just again shit talk do you want to like what are your what are you expecting from this band and sometimes yeah you don't have to know the answer right off the bat but like if you're doing a again like uh, like let's just say like I, I don't know just to put an example that somebody said that it's your fault for you do something and then they try to uh, gaslight you on thinking that it is your fault because you they cannot handle criticism like just as a thought right out of the bat like, I don't know uh, like thought just, just a something around just, just a random improvised thought yeah like, like because again like that's that's a common thing unfortunately <laughs> uh, but very common yeah, unfortunate but with that said like they you end up feeling like you want to just say whatever and yell and do things and like fuck this shit <laughs> just for lack of a better yeah. term um yeah. but again like uh are, are you just try like if there is a purpose on this like are you just bitching yeah or are you just bitching exactly like what are you trying to do here what is the point of this conversation and what do you want me to do with this situation like slash information but, because like because like because you got because you guys know me like i'll just straight up like tell someone what's the matter and see what we can do to fix it if they don't bother uh to give me a follow-up on that or just decide to take whatever i say out the fucking window then i feel feel like i'm wasting my time, but more importantly i'm wasting that person's time because clearly whatever i'm saying isn't working for them because what I hear is oh it'll be okay you're totally in the right i don't want to hear the other side of the story you're completely in the right don't worry about it that person that you're venting about is like is just an asshole you know i have no fucking clue what his thoughts are you know mm -hmm. that's the situation where i'm gonna be like okay now you're you're just bitching because if you're venting i would assume like whatever whatever i try to say you would take to heart and be like okay you know what i'm gonna hear you out i'm gonna listen to this and i'm gonna, and I'm gonna see what i can do for it i can't help you if you don't want to help yourself because if you've already made a mind that you're the, that you're in the right and whatever anything else uh, happened is wrong then you have no reason to vent in the first place yeah. All right, that is actually a, a very important like element like, to just brought up on that regard. Like, uh, first of all, venting. Uh, are you trying to help yourself in the situation? Like, I think that's the first question when it comes to like, hey, I want to express my thoughts out. <laughs> like, because sometimes, like, again, like I can bring examples like where, oh, I'm having this hard day at work, or I'm having this situation, and. I just want to exp to bend my shit out so I can just move on from it, like or so when I bend things out like and start uh, talking them like speaking them out of my mind, the picture changes because I'm now seeing it from a different perspective rather than just what my mind was making out of it. Like what, when you just talk your thoughts out, then they become in a different way because that's the moment you're trying to word them in a regular vocabulary <laughs> like that's when you realize oh this problem is actually just this <laughs> yeah like it's, it wasn't really all that complicated it just sounded complicated in my head before it just <laughs> yeah like just like how some things can sound better on your head they can also sound worse um but when when you're just like Fuck this bitch, fuck this bitch, fuck this bitch. That's not belt bending, that's shit talking, and that's not needed. <laughs> you don't need yeah. that, and yeah. neither does the people that are, that are genuinely just trying to help you. <laughs> like, if I can be completely honest about the situation, uh, about that kind of topic. Uh, have you guys ever been, like, bented just for the sake of, like, without our, an actual purpose? Or at least that you didn't see a purpose on, on it? Most... Most of the time, um, I myself usually don't vent more so on the person that gives insight to something. Like, obviously, you guys know I vent about a few things here and there when it's just too much for me to handle. And uh, so that way, I don't just like act 
lashed out to anybody. It's the last thing I want to do. Yeah, lashing but out is not not a good thing to do. It's way worse. It, it's just so much worse. But I have been in situations where someone just decides to vent to me. They, they say it's venting, but really they're just talking sh shit about someone. Just completely talking shit, and then suddenly more people join in on that, and suddenly everybody's talking shit about this one person, and it goes on for like an hour, hour and a half. It's not venting. You're just talking shit about someone who's pissing you off. And to an extent, that's not totally unjustifiable. But don't be wasting people's time just to shit talk on someone. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, that doesn't make you any better. It doesn't. In fact, in fact it, it makes you worse. It makes you worse. I'm, I'm glad that you and I are on the same wavelength when it comes to stuff like that. Because <laughs> it's well, because it's like we've been through this shit so many times. You and I, John. I, it's for like real. It's like I'm tired of this shit. Like, like the people who vent to me most of the time, it's the same shit all the time. And like, and I'm thinking to myself, okay, I'm giving you this insight. When I vent, like I'm not expecting. I'm not saying I expect someone. Give me the uh, to say like, to, uh, to, like give me like a full thesis on how I'll uh, on how I'll, to make sure I'll feel better, but like at least try to put in more effort, you know, like that that I would usually do to help someone out because this is why strictly I I, I will only help uh, help someone vent if I care about them to like a full full extent. So like if I so if I allow someone to vent to me, like personally personally, then. That means you're, you're pretty fucking close to me, but it, but if I, but if I'm just like, all right, I'll, I'll hear you out, then that's normal venting to me, like normal, normal venting. But again, if someone's just gonna shit talk about someone, I'm not gonna listen, or I'm, I will listen, but I'm not gonna take it seriously, because if it, it's just shit talking, you're not venting, and you didn't need to get, uh, you didn't need to grab me for this, not at all. Yeah. Like the, because, um... And again, it's like what I said. It's, it's you're not wasting my time. You're, I'm just not. I'm not just wasting my own time, but I'm wasting your time because clearly, anything I say is gonna work out for you. And there he is. It's our boy. Hello. Hello. There Hello. he is. Hey Jim, did you see the message I sent you? What? Hey Jim, did you see the message I sent you? Yeah, I saw. Okay, wait. Uh... Okay, sorry. <laughs> Jeez, that's how it's Wait a minute. <laughs> wait, wait. How far is your college from your home? <laughs> Not that far. Not that oh, far. But because otherwise, like, okay, dude, what? What are you actually? Actual flash? <laughs> 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 you no, know, I can I, I can see Solar being the flash. I really can. He's the purest one out of the group. <laughs> Like, he's like best. I no, I, I, I haven't I I haven't had someone walk up to me and just randomly say it was me, Barry. <laughs> it was me, Barry. <laughs> it was me, Barry. I turned you oh, off no, at super no, speed. No, no, you're not say you're saying it. <laughs> Jesus. I hate you all. Alright, um I Unfortunately swear. Unfortunately you did miss the whole uh, YouTube versus Twitch situation. Uh We'll try mm -hmm. to have a different moment to talk about that because I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a part three. <laughs> uh, but it's but like... we are oh, talking yeah. about the importance of venting. Yeah. Ah. Uh. So uh, we were just. Uh, and well, like it's a little on the spot, but. Uh, like so, do you have anything to say on the matter, though? Like just uh, no. Which, which, which one? Like just the importance of venting. Just... On the like... venting. Like or it, oh. what, what do you think of the idea, well, of the mere concept of it? I, I think that's the best way to put it. Well, I think, of course, it's like the most important thing. I think we kind of live in, kind of. In a society. In a, I mean, I mean, <laughs> we live in a society. <laughs> kind of we're in that way where it's like. Type gamers. Kind of in that way where it's like you know it's at least with um. We kind of have that look at least for the whole like um i think it's called toxic masculinity i can't remember where it's like probably where it's like oh if you talk about your feelings you're you're a 
We'll see, you know, suck it uh, up. Kinda this is why I want that. I wanted this man for this um, kind of conversation. Like out of nowhere, we're we're, we're now into that stuff. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, well, this is great. This. I mean, like out to that anyway, because like. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, I because like that. No, like, I agree. A problem but I'm like with guys, especially like you, like for guys, I'm gonna be straight up here. You have. Otherwise, you're considered a pussy by, uh, by society. No, 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 like Automa that, that is, no, I completely agree, that's why, like, oh my god, this man literally brought out something that, it makes sense, but, like, we didn't think about it. <laughs> yeah, it didn't really, it didn't really come across, just like, oh, this makes sense. Yeah, but, you know, it's, I, I think, you know, it, it's, it's important to, to Ven, regardless of who you are because it's because in you know the the reason that the reason why it's such a problem is that it, it makes people feel worse when they can't get their feelings out like you know it, it, it's that big saying where it's like you're if you bottle up your feelings it's eventually you're eventually going to explode um oh, yeah. and uh in you know i think you know, that's definitely a problem where I'd say, you know, like maybe even for maybe even for girls too. Like you know, just just for people where it's just like, oh, if you talk about your feelings, you're 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 dumb or something. Like you just gotta be gotta be stone cold or something. And or and, you know, it's, awesome. it's weird to to this to this day. It's really weird for me to hear from certain people that I've um that you know like when when it comes to like commenting on stuff that I've seen certain people say I've never had depression and it's just like it's really it's weird like, for me really? to hear with that this economy what the fuck dude really with this yeah, <laughs> economy I'm crazy Wait, we got the economy we got kobe we got <laughs> fucking trump to <laughs> just trump uh, like and, and now you're going to tell me that you don't have uh, you don't have the pressure fuck off that you that, that, then guess what you're white you're w <laughs> that's the only way you cannot have Yo. depression <laughs> You're a white middle no. class person that doesn't know what hunger is. Doesn't know. <laughs> okay, listen here. Listen here. I'm white. I would like to say I'm somewhere in the middle class, and I have depression every fucking day. Okay. I don't believe you. Um, okay, first of course you don't believe me. But... I'm just really good at hiding it. Damn. That, no, now that is depressing. No, that... <laughs> that is a hell of a depressing Jesus. Look. Let me while you hear a squeaky, yeah, that's Pops. <laughs> Trying to get on my mind. <laughs> Try to <laughs> But um Yeah, go on. Yeah, it it it's that's I think that's definitely one of the major problems when it comes to I guess the opposition of venting. You know, people just think it's that the, the it, you know, there are some who think that doing it is a wrong thing to do when in reality it's not. It's literally part of being human. And the and you know, it's and you know, there's a reason why it's like why it it's it, it when a, 90 90 percent of the time when you vent at the end of the day, you feel clearer, you feel better, you feel like you got a weight off your shoulders. And so, how can that? kind of clarity a bad thing and so i i think that you know it, it's definitely important you know never to hold anything in i mean i've met people that i i've met my fair share of people that are like you know that it that where they tell me that it makes them feel kind of worse to talk about it i'm, I'm not sure again you know it's like i'm not i'm not a, i'm not a psychology major i i don't quite know if if that if that's just like a threshold to just how a person can be is is wired but either way it's it's definitely something to always consider just keeping it all in because you know what's what's the worst that could happen you know get, getting called a pussy by some random stranger that's not relevant to your foot at all i wouldn't care But um, you know, that, that, and, you know, that's just kind of all I have to say. You know, I think it's it's very simple for me because it's just like, yeah, it's. I mean, I, I've I've had my fair share of um, 
having having to vent and everything. You know this, especially AGM. Yeah, um, I just feel like and, hey, yeah. with those balls, you're saying that when you're with those. Balls, <laughs> like knowing full well that once I, uh, again I have yeah. to sometimes. Where the fuck are you? I'm sorry. I was dealing with this. Like the priest was touching me. Like and you didn't talk to me about it. And you did. So <laughs> you didn't say anything. The church is closed. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, the, the church is closed yeah but not the priest the, the priest is still on the run the priest... <laughs> <laughs> he's on the run <laughs> so, yeah, in the name no. of the lord suck oh this in the name of the lord god <laughs> damn <Jesus. laughs> oh my god AGM that's not okay of course it's not okay Does that is that, but, but <laughs> is it a lie the sad part no. is, he's not <laughs> wrong, he's not lying. That's more than And for case to case basis, we'll need Phoenix Radix investigation, but... <laughs> but yeah, no, it's... Yeah, I mean, that's kind of my two cents on the whole thing. You know, it's, it's a good thing to do. Definitely don't keep things inside. And, you know, just... Talk your feelings out. Like, because just do what comes naturally. I mean, while Anthony was bringing the aspect of... Um just like like uh venting and like the difference between venting and shit talking like uh like what do you what do you have to say on that regard because we're, like we were going into that topic so i want to i want you to fill you in the the difference between what like like what do you think like uh, do you think there is a general difference between venting and shit talking and shit? like because sometimes like... you will have people like say like just like say like hey can i vent to you like yeah what happened like well this bitch is just being a cunt to me like <laughs> think I think when it comes I think I think uh, for the latter I mean, for the, at least the comparison at least I think it's a matter of perspective because we, because you know it's if it's a situation where at least the common um, or the common reaction or at least the common deduction of the situation is that the person venting is actually truthfully in terms of morals being treated unfairly and yeah that's fine but if it's someone if like say if like say like hypothetically someone was talking to me about how uh, about how they're angry they angry and uh, pissed off that they got rejected by a girl and are just talking shit about her I'm just like okay dude you're you're kind of kind of being a dick right now Damn, I can't believe but... Cheryl did that to you, okay. I can't believe <laughs> <laughs> a bad. What a hoe. What a hoe. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's kind of my two cents on that. Alright, um... Like, John, you were you still needed to, like, bring, uh, like, uh... A contribution to the, like, uh... Like, you had something to, to say on that aspect? <laughs> God. Uh, hey, yeah, I kept you for last for a good reason. I kept you. I mean, we're th we're still talking about like the whole venting issue, right? I mean, yeah, yeah. My brain didn't completely f fall out of my asshole because I'm so tired. Um, stop being tired, you bitch. I've shut your ass. Yeah, because that's how it that's... works. Yeah, okay. because that's... <laughs> that's exactly how it works. I don't think shit. I don't think that's how it works. No, it. Go on, go on, John. Uh, I think literally just what I said before. To be perfectly honest, just trust in somebody that will give you the best advice when you choose to vent about something. Because when you're venting, your frustration can be good. But don't vent your frustrations just to be, just to bitch about someone and just to be a dick to somebody else. That way, venting your frustrations isn't called like venting your venting your feelings being a giant asshole to somebody else. Yeah. So again, it just boils down to. Like, Finding that person who will, who will listen, who will give you 
the best advice that you need to hear when you're venting out your frustrations. They need to be real with you, they need, and they need to be honest. Not the not the person who's just going to just casually listen and say, Oh, I'm sorry. That sucks. Oh, I feel bad for you. No. This person is getting a lot of their feelings out. Like getting a lot of their frustration. And they need to they need to have that support system. Because if you're just gonna keep venting your frustrations and nothing comes out nothing of that entire conversation, then the person is gonna feel genuinely worse. Like, worse before they started venting. Like, people say, like, something and nothing. Honestly, sometimes For venting, nothing yeah. could... Yeah, sometimes nothing could mean a lot more, to be honest. Yeah. Because, yeah. like, some things that people just say, they're, they're just so bare bones minimum, that's just like, you might as well not even yeah. said something. Exactly, bro. Like, there was a time, uh, like, and I do mean it like that way, like, there was a period of time where... Uh, you will see those like everybody on DeviantArt and all of the world like just making uh, Undertale comics <laughs> uh, and there was one that kind of that deals with that I still I don't remember, quite remember the name but there's just like all oh, them uh, talking and what's the importance of it like I always feel that and like, because I am behind that idea that when you express your thoughts out you're at least sharing something with that with that person like and when you do that then that problem is at least to some percentage not just not just yours anymore like somebody shares uh, your feelings and shares the, the way you are uh, taking like tackling a certain situation that is uh, that you need to express like so because sometimes there can be like oh I'm dealing with this frustration because of something that happened to me like and uh, uh, hell sometimes it's not even a bad thing but you just feel like crap because because of certain insecurities within your life and everything um, or, or once again because now they have managed to accomplish something they now have to bend on uh, their, their certain frustration because now they still don't feel like they expected to feel like, they, like those again there are multiple reasons why you will end up like uh, in a situation of venting or just expressing those kind of feelings but at the end of the day like it's just acknowledging exactly that like that those feelings are not out of nowhere or they're they don't exist just uh because you cannot have a stable environment like it's just it, they just happen because that's how that's that's how carry that's how being a person with mental problems is that's how being human works <laughs> like and, and by mental problems i don't mean that you have that you're damage uh, or that you that you're <laughs> that you have a disability I'm damaged it, i'm in a cat so <laughs> like it's just like I, I have this problem in my like of my feelings that is a mental struggle that is a mental situation like depression is not a mental disability it's a mental problem <laughs> like that doesn't mean that you're crazy it just means that you're sad well you need it needs to be more complicated than that yeah like, like and I, and I say that as somebody that because of chronic stress yes I do suffer from chronic stress that's why like the for me the importance of venting is super important because venting comes from stress like you are stressed about a situation and you need to talk these feelings out <coughs> but be and because of those same feelings um, like, or because of that stress like you end up dealing with a lot of depression and anger because now you're just frustrated for whatever <laughs> to the point where once again there's you don't see a point of return <laughs> like if i can be completely honest here but thanks to synthesis in in life and like in my life like just like with you guys and talking and everything like it does become less at least more bearable because i know i'm not alone on the things that i say or at least that i know that if i talk there's somebody that cares <laughs> like and that always and mm -hmm. once again uh because we're going through the end of the of the year and that's gonna deal with a lot of people having that question of if you want to end the year or just want to end it if you catch my grip and that is always a scary thing to think about when it comes to the end of the year um which will be something to talk about later we're not talking about the exact same topic we're just talking about the idea of just 
ending the year and and just a retrospective on everything on a later time, <laughs> of course. But mm-hmm. with that said, like the major thing that I that I can add to this is that you cannot like like the major point or what the of the importance of venting is that once again you release the frustrations out but that's the key point releasing them you're not just expressing them and putting them back on and keeping that grudge that nobody wants you to have <laughs> like it's for the sake of improving and actually going forward that is the point of venting like to just release the steam to properly express what you're feeling and know that you're not alone on things like that is like like uh, that's why a part of me wishes that Sam was uh, hearing this because, like, yeah, she's dealing with all these uh, situations regarding her uh, her health, and she's going through a, through a medical treatment tomorrow, like, in the morning, which I will definitely text her, like, hey, good luck, and been the best for you. So, but because of that, like, at the end of the day, like, she's dealing with all that alone, or at least she, like, it feels like you're alone, because in a way, I can understand that. At the end of the day, like, I, how much I wish that I could be there for John's operation or tell him what, how to feel or how to deal, how to deal with his cast. Uh, I wish that I could be there for Anthony like during the moments uh, regarding family stuff. And I wish I could be on, on solar for a lot of the things that happen. There's really something wrong with you, man. There's really something wrong. <laughs> really so- like- You're not telling us solar. <laughs> sure. Like- <laughs> like I like I'm just saying that Louis has things to sell to say to say man it's not okay it's not okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, he wants to wants to run around and broadcast it to the world that's for sure. <laughs> just, mm-hmm. like, it was me, Solar. It was me. It was me. <laughs> it was me, Austin. <laughs> it was me all along. But 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 and yeah, like that that physical aspect. Uh, as much as we can say that online relationships are just as important as physical ones yeah there's definitely advantages and disadvantages on from both of them uh like the major the, the two ones in this time in this situation is one advantage of their real life i can actually be there for you and and and, and make sure that you don't fucking disappear out of nowhere <laughs> uh <laughs> like a, in a call uh but the other one is that but on the other hand i can talk to you in the middle of the fucking night because we're both at the comfort and safety of our homes, <laughs> like like we can we can stay until yeah. four a.m. without thinking, hey, you want to go for pussy? <laughs> because we're in a bar, and that's because that's what people <laughs> do at four a.m. Because <laughs> we otherwise, what the fuck will You're we do? You're damn right. Yeah. <laughs> what? Honestly, for me, I just go for drives. I just go for night drives and shit. Just blast the music and just go around the neighborhoods. I thought he said drugs. <laughs> I thought he said, and I like. Damn! What I need. <laughs> wow. <laughs> There's pops. Yeah, like um, <laughs> um, but even like even on that regard, like like going a little bit more into that, um, what do you like again? Like, what do you guys think is the um uh, major? Like, how can I say? element in terms of uh bendy. like what do you what like what do you think a person needs in order to like properly bend because yeah it's not that it's not as simple as oh i would just want to say shit out of my mouth just... for me at least i don't need a vent i must have had like a really bad day like either work was super stressful or someone was uh uh, someone was already stressed me the hell out or just normal stress or just anything really that involves stress yeah i'm gonna vent about uh vent about it uh, um but if it's just like oh this person said this to me on twitter i'm not, I'm not gonna go bother someone because of that that that's the more i'm just like all right hey you can kind of suck <laughs> you can suck, Nick. You can... Unless, unless of, unless of course the uh the tweet literally tells me to go fuck self, or they're gonna fuck my ass for me. Then I'm yeah. gonna be like, yeah, okay, no, hold no, 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 because there's, there's, because that, that, there's that point of starting like, uh, like, oh, what the fuck is your problem? Like, what? Like you said, what's for dinner? Like, well, I mean, it's just a, it was just a text. Like, yeah, but it's written in a tongue. Like, get, feed me, you fucking bitch. Like. 
Damn. Meanwhile, on the other side of the, <laughs> of the situation, when you're like, hey, what the fuck is up with this subject? Like, nah, 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 nah. You're reading it with a tone of bad. Yeah, but the message shit, like, but the message says Kodaks can suck a dick. Like, the, the tone doesn't matter. The tone doesn't. The tone doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> The fuck is so dead. Ah, uh, so dead. He probably couldn't even. I uh, probably didn't even hear what you said. No, I hear probably. Yeah, because you're care. like. Oh, at this point, he knows my my shit. So like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> so, I know his shtick. I know. I know the dang of his angle. I get his tricks. <laughs> but <laughs> like, I just like once again, like going into those elements. Well, um, like, like I think that like once again, like the the major point, like what do you try to accomplish when it comes to venting, like. Are there any points where you'd like feel like you uh, needed to bend but you couldn't do it? Like any of you? Like you just for some reason in your head? <laughs> I mean, um, the only the only time I I could think of like when I needed to vent and couldn't was when I was trying to vent with I thought was a supportive person who I thought was a rock would actually like give me you know feedback and actually listen to things he didn't it turned out to be a fucking tool yeah i know that <laughs> i mean i was i wasn't gonna go that deep but yes um yeah no that was that was the only that was literally the only time i felt like i just couldn't vent because the person just literally was not listening to me or rather they're active listening like, sure, they were listening, but they didn't know how to provide enough feedback, or they didn't know how to provide enough, you know, just proper means to, you know, help the situation. And, like, I, yeah, the same, the same could be said, like, the whole argument of, like, uh, that person isn't responsible for your own happiness, but at the same time, that person is taking the time to at least listen to your frustrations and try the situation. But if they can't, if they can't provide good feedback or they can't provide literally anything to the conversation, then you're literally venting to drywall. Yeah. Yeah. Like you might as well just like, uh, because this is the thing that people used to do, like you like literally like grab a, like open Microsoft Word and then start like just typing your things, <laughs> like typing everything out. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, pops. Like, uh, he's on my, on my lab, are you like, can you just, like, no more play? Like, no, like, I need to stream, man. <laughs> <laughs> I need to stream. I need to stream. I need to stream, Ducky. I need to stream. <laughs> like, what do you need to and do? And then Pops this? just like, bitch, if you don't fucking get off that chair, right? <laughs> and play with me, I'm gonna bite the shit out of you. No, that's the thing, like, he doesn't want to play, he just wants, like, hey, I'm the one that matters. Apparently, <laughs> Jesus, Pops. Oh, he just wants to feel important. Oh, he wants—he wants all the attention. Yeah, no, that's pretty much what that's 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 uh, genuinely. Seems to me like he's getting it. Yeah, no, no, like he's right here on my on my lab, like that. You're like, yep, I'm I'm an obstacle. What are you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> what you gonna do about it, bitch? Pretty much, yeah. That's pretty much like the way he's doing it, but like, uh, Anthony. Yes. The, the fucking yes me like a, a point where you thought you like when you wanted yes. to ban but you couldn't. Ah. Uh, Don't worry, she's not honestly, here. Honestly, all the time. I feel like uh, no, I'm not, I'm not even <laughs> talking about Kate or anything. I'm just saying, no, like most of the time, I like. Most of the time, whenever I vent, I usually don't vent. I really don't feel the need to. Because most of the times, I feel like um, anything I say is uh, pretty small. Because, like, nothing really happens to me. Like, yeah, work, uh, work can sometimes be a pain uh, pain in the ass. But nothing really I need to vent about. A comments yeah. or chat, like, just press X to doubt. Just press <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> like, dude, you're full of shit, Jacob. You're full of shit. Shit, Jacob. What? You're, you're full of shit, man. Like I, I, I don't believe you. I don't. Are you gonna tell me that you've never felt like the need to bend? Are you actually telling me that? Nah, there are many times I need. Uh, I wanted to. Uh, 
one event. Let's just a few things about my dad, <laughs> but I'm not gonna go into detail about that. But well, yeah, here. no, they're they're. Well, I I just don't. No, no, I, no, I, I, I really. Yeah, no, don't worry. But like um, but 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 no, see, like that's an example right there, though. Like that, like there are times where I feel uh, where I feel like in some circumstances. I can't vent, but there are times where I want to vent, but I just can't right now. Like I don't mind talking on stream about some of the things I'm venting about, but the things about about my dad, no, I'm not. I'm... Yeah, I don't know. Mm -hmm. that, 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 that's fair. You don't even try to play it on me. I know you have. I know you have. Well, of course I have. Everybody. No, has. not you, like Solar, who's just like, yeah, I'm just gonna play dumb. Just like, if I don't breathe, <laughs> he won't see me. If I don't breathe. <laughs> I can't see him if he can't see me. They can't see me. I can't see them. That's because I thought you were gonna say because you're I facing the. Room. <laughs> uh, they can't see me. I can't see like them. <laughs> I can fight. <laughs> That's just about as good, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but um. Yeah, no, it's, uh, the only time where I've ever, ever felt, um, where I can't really vent, I guess it's just, it's just, it's kind of similar to a situation, um, with Codex, because just, like, I feel like, you know, there are some people I can talk about almost everything with, and I feel there are some people where it's, like, can only maybe talk about just some of it, because, um, it's not only a thing about, it's not only a thing of trust, but also, also, it's like, I guess, you know, it's, you know, expect, you know, every, every, every person has their own outlook, has their own, um, mental, like, um, has their own, like, uh, mentality. And so, you, you kind of have to kind of gauge, like, I, if I vent to this person, and, you know, to tell them all this, then what should I expect from this? And, you know, sometimes, sometimes maybe, maybe it's best for you to, even even if it'll maybe it's best for you to like just bite the bullet maybe um and just see and just find out um but for my case um it's just yeah it's it's just uh venting to certain people and just not really getting much yeah whole situation that so was, that was, by that point yeah we're talking more like yeah like when the person itself like doesn't like it doesn't really want to be available for you like which, but right. Wait, but that, which, but that right. point, like the real answer will be like, well, get better friends. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 for starters. Uh, yeah. But, but there's also like an argument to be had about the idea, like, oh, I mean, maybe some people are not uh, so much for that part. Like, they just like to have fun. Like, well, then by that point, once again, they're not actually doing a good job of being friends. <laughs> Uh, like they're just like mm -hmm. they're just like more like acquaintances for fun, <laughs> uh, like for entertainment. Yeah. But 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 I mean, you can still have an interaction with them and all. But at the end of the day, like that ends up showing what they're all about, like or what you can expect from them, rather than uh, and something more profound. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. but like the major thing on that, like not so much like oh I couldn't bend. It's more like, oh, th there was no fucking point. There was no. Mm. Right. Like, which, which, is, which still applies, like, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying that, I mean, like, by that point, like, like, have you ever felt like at some point, like, uh, and yeah, I'm kind of calling you out on that because if you say no, I was gonna say bullshit. Like, were you like, oh, mm. it's because of who I am that I cannot say, like, that I can't do it. That I've had that? Yeah. It's because of who I am that I can vent? Like, I, I just know once again, like, you, like, uh, like, uh, how can I put it prop more properly? Like, like, where you do go, like, not so much, like, with the, the toxic masculinity, where you're like, no, I should be strong, or I should be better than this because of reasons. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I mean... Yeah, yeah, that I with with that whole thing, it's, it, 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 I think it's just in the case of, it's it's just the case of you know I I have this really bad problem, where, 
where it's hard for me to follow my own advice. <laughs> and that's it. And, you know, it, but, you know, I'm, but, you know, I'm, I'm trying, my, and you know, I've been trying lately to, you know, grow, to grow better from that. And, you know, I, I'm think I'm, you know, as of late, I haven't had those kinds of feelings lately. So, you know, that's a good thing, but yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it's like, I mean, I, I, you know, I, I've had, I've had that kind of thing before where it's like the expectations put on myself kind of feel like the kind of, but I'm kind of doing away with those bit by bit as of late. So. Mm -hmm. No, no, I mean, uh, okay. That, that's a fair argument or way to like describe those things. I will definitely say like without, uh, without that much of a doubt in my, in my, in my mouth that you definitely well by this point and not someone like oh like you still you still take people's advices but you don't talk that much anymore and you're like uh, yeah i solved the problem i'm not listening to people mm. by not talking to them that's like do it i don't think that's how <laughs> i don't think, uh, yeah. no no, no yeah. not... i don't think that's all shit like well fuck <laughs> 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 But no, like what you definitely uh, on those regards, like and you, and again, like I always consider you to be like more critical than I am on in a lot of areas, or at least to have a diff, a more uh, complex thought about the, the, those things. Like, and and that's great. Like I do like when you well, once again, like that's why I, when it comes to the this kind of send times, that's what I that's where I wanted you to be here the most, uh, because you're the one that always brings the, like again like you you literally came in and brought up like toxic masculine and you're like damn <laughs> like wow <laughs> <laughs> didn't even think about all that one no like i five and, and again like that is that is i mean your thing about those things like that that's why like like despite like you always put yourself on such a regard for in a lot of ways and your frustrations but despite the fact that you're probably the one with more profound way of thinking than most of us here like uh, when you're only then you're only six years old and you're only six <laughs> like, like, but I, I don't know like like, like the, and, and with that I can also like start say like uh because I was talking about this uh when we started and Kate was around um like I, I do have when I did mention that was my the whole thing about chronic stress is that things are important to me. Like and and I am and I have made myself very clear about those aspects. Like like just like how John takes uh, plumbing and chilling uh, seriously. Like I take both that and my stuff very seriously. Like and with and because of that, like when I express certain feelings, I like. Like, that is my only time where I do keep myself, uh, keep things to myself, when I clearly, I can clearly tell that the person is taking this situation way less seriously than I am. <laughs> like, because, and, and it's not even yeah. out, of, out of disrespect for the person, I know that they have their own way of thinking. But in the, uh, in the long run, it does become an issue where you're releasing frustrations or releasing your, your feelings on a situation. And then only to then realize, oh, like this person is not, is just constantly putting uh, back answer, like just against what I'm saying and what I'm doing <laughs> to the point where what's the point of talking if I just feel like I'm not being, like, like if they're not taking this as seriously as I am, why should I bother? That's why, I, like, and this applies to even the streams, like, to be perfectly honest, like as much as I am current, we are currently doing this for Sam. Uh, I I do have the intention of, at least by the end of this month, or by the end of this year, like to try and do get another one for myself because job, while great, is definitely not like just being great is not enough. <laughs> um, like mm -hmm. to like just like again without going so much into that detail i am literally making 130 dollars a week not more like uh every two weeks like that's it um 
so which means that I don't even get to $300 a month and that is something like that does something to you like, like even if you're yeah. even if you live in the in my case like in Mexico where shit is a little easier but again not by not as much as you will think like if we're mm-hmm. if I'm being real here with you um yeah so like I do think that we're gonna I, I, again I, I tried to contact Chloe but she I guess she was just busy for, for today uh Okay, and that, okay, but Kodak's fall fell asleep, and uh, I don't know what Anthony's <laughs> excuse was. I don't know what Anthony said. Um, yeah, so I don't know either. Yeah, like, I'm most likely going to like start doing once again the full emergency marathons, <laughs> and but I'm gonna go all out. I'm mm-hmm. gonna try to bring my best content for all of you. I'm gonna try to do the best so everybody can be entertained, but we're gonna try to really hit the mark because. It's getting hard. My mom is dealing with the with a knee and hip uh, pain, <laughs> so she needs the treatment for it. And I can provide it with the current job. And I'm gonna hit big because the idea is to make a business, like not to just oh, help me pay this. And I know help me make a business, <laughs> like not so much a Kickstarter because mm-hmm. well, I'll, I'll, although I will plan on do something for those that get to back it up, but we're gonna do things. I don't know how, but I will. <laughs> um, and with that, since uh, they are gone, <laughs> uh, we're just gonna do the 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 egg festival and end it. We are we're we're hitting the one hour mark on on this topic anyway, so it it is enough for, for us to tackle yeah. this. Uh, yeah, pops. Yeah, yeah no I just problem. keep doing this, pops. Uh, and I'm also. I think I think pops is. Like... I think, like, besides, like, you know, pops is bothering you, and actually, uh, you know, had to have my sister come in and tell me that, uh, the, you, did you uh she's got Hindley, so I will. Yeah, don't worry, we're just gonna do this and call it, don't worry. Yeah. So, all right, it's kid, fun, you're... though. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, do, are you having to do, um, so, uh, wait, so you're having to do the egg contest? Yeah, we're doing the egg contest right now. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay. Now, is everyone ready? <laughs> Are you ready, kids? Let the Econ begin! Alright. Jesus, finally I was able to reconnect. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> what happened? Oh, internet? I don't think it was internet, I think it was just my PC shitting the bed. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry about that, man. Like, That's what I mean. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, I mean, what do you want me to do? Like, call AT and T? Like, they don't fucking do for they do shit anyway. <laughs> I know that too well. Like, Dude, I gave up on AT and T. I refuse to go back there. I refuse. Again, they they also touch, like the priest. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did something happen with the priest? No, um, I don't know. Like, yeah, no. <laughs> unfortunately, should you say fortunately? No, like, like, I gotta say unfortunately because again, my, my like uh, they wanted me to they, they wanted me to actually become one. They wanted to. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Wait, you wanted? To... Yeah, they wanted me to be a priest. They wanted. Me to... What? <laughs> Solar, you gotta get out of here quickly, dude. <laughs> no, don't worry. That, that's why they couldn't. That, that's why I couldn't. <laughs> No, no, I'm kidding. Like, yeah, they that's wanted me, why. They wanted me to be a priest, but no, that there was no such thing. Like, hey, touch this kid. <laughs> oh my god. That's what all they right. all say. Wow, uh, look at all these eggs. Now, if only I could get you to kids speak a little this efficiently, we have the cleanest time inside of KMC. <laughs> look at all those chickens. Chickens, Eddie! Why oh, my oh. chickens, Eddie? <laughs> now, the winner of this year's contest is gonna be a. Uh, it's gonna be the purple girl, yeah, because I need to get eight. Seven is like tie, and she still wins. And she's... <laughs> uh, the prize is a straw hat. That's why I wanted it. <laughs> Luffy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but 
Just watch out for our, just watch out for it. Just make sure no one in this place likes donuts. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn it, Solar, now I want a donut. Yeah, but <coughs> now that's how it goes. Like, alright. <laughs> Go but with that, uh, we're just gonna save our progress. Um again, we hit the one hour mark. Uh like when we talk about this, we're gonna probably continue to talk about things related to venting and all. <laughs> Because we kind of did touch about multiple things like uh, toxic masculinity, I think we can definitely talk uh, touch on that, especially once Kate becomes more relevant here. Um, but with that, uh, oh, of course, she's just gonna say things well, like, oh, men sh should be able to do it, men able to do that. <laughs> no, because I, again, I want to do those things. I was talking about that uh, a moment ago that. I like again to give the quick summary. Mom is dealing with knee and hip pain. Like he's still, she's still dealing with that. And I'm making a high. Uh, I, I'm making like less than 250 a month, which is not oh, enough, even for even in Mexico. So I'm probably gonna oh, once shit. again. I'm gonna try to do a stream with, with once again 5,000 as the gold, if not even like. If not even bigger, but because that, like I, if I do it bigger, it's gonna be a Kickstarter, <laughs> more than anything. Um, but the idea is to once again like do that for the sake of Im improving, uh, like getting uh, better equipment, so I can start my own business, like my own, uh, like I can actually freelance my work instead of getting a very shitty payment. <laughs> Uh, this, like I love my job, mm -hmm. but loving it is not enough. I will, I can honestly say that I got to that other side of the spectrum. <laughs> um, so, and they're obviously not. They're gonna be they're gonna take a while before they give me more. <laughs> but my mom cannot wait for that. I'm gonna talk with Chloe once again about those things. But again, those are elements that will have to be addressed at the proper time when I can actually do the the streams and the and the right pace. Uh, most likely during yeah. the, during the early mornings and during the late nights, because in between that's where I'm working. <laughs> um, because if I don't hit the five thousand gold mm -hmm. mark, then I'm just uh, fixing my mom's back, <laughs> like a, like back and knee, like just uh, helping her through that. <laughs> uh, but if we do, mm -hmm. then yeah, I'm quitting once again and taking a six month break or quote unquote break, so I can focus on working on that. On working and do the uh, AGM Studios, an actual studio with the gray line, and hell, like if it's if possible, like if we start getting uh, followers and all that other stuff, I will pay you. Like, don't worry, guys. <laughs> like, I do have the intention of paying you. It's just that once again, it's not it's not that simple. Like, if I if I manage to actually do the Kickstarter the way I wanted to. I will definitely pay you guys as well as somebody else that is planning on joining us on January. <laughs> yes, I do have that kind of foresight <laughs> um, uh, on that. Uh, remember, uh, remember Chelsea uh, Solar. Mm -hmm. The what? Remember Chelsea, the uh, the like the one that I introduced you the other day. Oh yeah. Yeah, like, again, she. Yeah. I, I, I did talk to her. I we've been doing things like for whenever she starts rebranding, so she does want to join in. Uh, but it's gonna be for Janu uh, January, mm. and once again, I'm, the point is to get things thing working. So we're gonna be we're gonna be seeing each other tomorrow again, like like not you guys specifically. Like if you guys can, that would that'll be great. But I'm gonna try to do whatever <laughs> just to make things run for at least two hours a day <laughs> uh, or two hours a session mm. or whatever. And I'm gonna start uploading the all of the stuff on YouTube as well. So that can also get some traction. So that can, uh, again, we'll just see how things keep playing out. Uh, but yeah, I'm going for that because yeah, this is the era of self-employment. I think that's final. I think it's finally the time that I, I think it's finally the time for me to start working on that. <laughs> but I'm, mm. uh, but I can't do it alone. <laughs> if I'm honest with the two of you, if I. Right. And you know, then all great, all great things happen when uh, like-minded individuals work together. Teamwork makes the dream work, as it goes. 
That, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure you're like, and then you're, you're gonna say like, somebody once told me the world's gonna roll me. It's gonna roll me. But little did they know, I was the sharp in the shed. <laughs> uh, Anthony, what's up? I just something to say about all the things, all of, all of this. Discord's been shitting itself for the past like 20 minutes. I have been able to really be uh, be here for the rest of 20 minutes. All right, I'll. Uh, well, I'll, I'll fill you in tomorrow, like, uh, or in a minute. Alrighty. Or in a minute on Main Hangar, don't worry. Or in a minute. Uh, but yeah, like, take care, everybody. Uh, have a good night. <laughs>